the talented youngster divya deshmukh 17 year old indian takes on world number 3 alexandra goryachkina and world championship finalist goryachkina opens the game with 1c4 divya has had a good tournament until now she has beaten gm hong tan trang in the second round and now in the third round of the world cup she takes on a very formidable opponent in goryachkina we have the english opening on the board and divya goes for the queen's gambit setup queen's gambit decline setup with e6 d5 pawns bishop comes out to g2 and now divya brings out her knight to f6 <coughs> this is a great experience for a player like divya to face such a amazing player like goryachkina and she's going to go all out she plays d4 now this is a very ambitious move because you're gaining space and you're telling white that i am ready to spend some time on it but i have more space on the board shot castles by white <coughs> and divya brings out her knight to c6 white can try for d3 followed by e3 break which is kind of a reversed benoni she goes d3 the other option here is to of course expand on the queen side with a3 b4 Divya plays her bishop out to c5 which is an interesting way to develop and also kind of telling white that maybe e3 is not the best idea now knight d2 one of the ideas with this move is to put your knight on b3 Divya pushes the pawn to a5 a very logical move because if the knight is coming to b3 later on you can push it away with a4 knight b3 played by goryachkina and now the bishop drops back and i think it's a good time to strike in the center with e3 because otherwise divya is threatening a4 to kick the knight away e3 is played if divya takes here then after bishop e3 white has a fine position so divya continues to gain more space in the center with e5 again an ambitious approach pawn takes now you would want to take back with the pawn she takes it back and now once again there is an idea of pushing a4 but goryachkina goes bishop g5 if divya plays a4 then after take take and knight c5 then the knight is attacking this pawn also could come to e4 so divya does not really go for a4 she castles and rook e1 is played at 6 asking a question to the bishop and now the bishop has to move away it goes back to d2 and can divya play a4 here a4 but she's afraid that after take 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 if she takes on d4 e7 is hanging but here bishop c5 would have been an excellent move and divya is completely fine but she goes rook e8 slightly passive move and instantly goryachkina plays a4 stopping the a pawn from advancing yes she's weakened the b4 square and divya now taking advantage of that by bringing her rook to a6 but on the other hand now the knight on b3 is very well placed putting pressure here here and here 95 divya does not trade goes knight b4 until now she's been playing excellently the position is complicated but another fine move for from goryachkina playing her pawn to c4 maybe the knight can go back to c4 knight d7 is a big mistake by divya she could have played rook e6 here but knight d7 and instantly goryachkina spots a beautiful tactic knight takes a5 now everything's hanging divya has to take here if she would have taken the knight then bishop b4 and white is better but she had this in mind however goryachkina had prepared knight takes b7 here attacking the queen so you must take the knight there's no other way bishop takes b7 now if you take on b7 then e5 is hanging so first you should take on d7 and she does it she takes here the point being that if you take on g2 there is knight takes c5 so divya first takes on e1 very important to take with the bishop not with the queen because with the queen then d3 and c2 all come with a tempo so bishop takes and now she takes on d7 but in the end of all of these complications you will see that bishop takes b7 has come and materially 
white is a pawn up but it's not just any pawn it's this beautiful a passer which is a very strong pawn and goryachkina comes back to e4 with the idea of putting the bishop here maybe and sort of pinning there knight a6 divya lays a trap if you play bishop f5 she wants to take here and queen f5 and she's doing completely fine so goryachkina does not fall for it she plays this very nice move because now if you take take and take the bishop is no longer on e1 and bishop f5 wins material bishop f8 is played here and now pawn up to b5 you can see how white not only has an extra pawn but also such amazing pieces the knight comes to c5 but now the bishop is going to move in and that's exactly what goryachkina does bishop c6 next up you have bishop coming here pawn advancing down the board divya tries to sacrifice an exchange here queen takes c6 but the main issue remains that white's a pawn is very powerful and goryachkina like a machine keeps pushing that pawn amazing play by her sort of flawless play in the game until now now there's pressure on d3 pawn but she goes bishop b4 and now if knight d3 then you can take on f8 followed by rook a3 and the d4 pawn falls and i think divya here is totally lost she offers her hand in resignation and goryachkina scores the full point she now leads the match 1-0 and divya will have to strike with the white pieces in the second game all in all an amazing game by world number 3 and a great learning experience for the 17 year old divya deshmukh